Okay. So the first thing, uh, thank you for being here, and I uh, appreciate you guys coming out here to watch me do this, this uh, demo. Okay, one of the things that you want to do before you start is to make sure all the debris and everything is out of the hole. All right, so I've already done it. So what I did is I swept everything off the loose block and everything out, out of it. Okay? okay, since there's zero water in there, and it says on the bucket that you need to take the water out. Now, why do you want to take the water out when you don't put water back in? Okay? As long as the water doesn't have a lot of dust and dirt and stuff like that in a different color. This looks pretty good because you can see the bottom. Okay? Alright. The next thing you can do is take it out. The best thing to do, guys, when you, when, you, when, you, when you transport this, especially in cold weather, it does a lot better. You see it going right now, but it's a whole lot better if you do it in cold weather to put it in a truck so it can get some heat to it. It falls a lot better out. Okay. And then what happens is, if you're not going to use the whole bucket, everything won't come out there at one time. Okay? So, alright? We can do two things. You can use the shovel or you can use the rake. All you do is just rake it out. I would use this. I'm going to rake that. Okay? So, And yes, I do know how to do this because I'm in the asphalt business. Alright, so. And I'm going to try to leave it down just a little bit. So I can take some of this out. Put the apple and put it on the top. Okay. That's about all you can do. Okay? Now, you want to put another coat on it? You 
is the planner. But you'll see that this is a little bit finer than the other. Okay? Usually, this is what we try to do. Usually, most of the time, most of the D dot will only use the six. Okay. Normally, we use this part right here for a small crack, probably about a you know, three inches or so. We need to leave it. That's all you do. Okay. So you do the same thing. Break it up, and that's going to be it. Just pull that little hole up. What I'm using right now, you can put it like at least an inch. The six is anywhere from an inch and a half to four. You got to put those guys one inch. It takes about 15 minutes. It takes me 15 minutes to do it. Oh, set up? Yeah. It's starting to already because we've added water to it. At least the bottom of it. Now, since we've done the top of it, I've got to set the top of it. Then we're going to start to the off. Like I said, if you got a plate camper, 
normally you can screw it on the back of your truck. Get one of those little things that you can put back and put in your hitch. You have your pipe tamper, a couple of nicks, water, and everything you need right on the back. And like I said, it only takes 15 minutes to do it. Most of the time when we go, when I was doing uh, demos for a VDOT, they would pull off, they said there's a pothole, I clean it out, put, put the mix in, put the water in, tamp it down, I'm gone. 15 minutes. So we do the rest. Traffic, we do the rest. Okay? <laughs> Oh, uh, and if anybody's worried about in the wintertime with freezing, all you have to do is add a little bit of antifreeze in the water, and that will take care of it. Antifreeze will not hurt it. We've done a lot of tests on such things that uh, you can use. Uh, you can use anything from barbie, antifreeze, you know, put in it, just as long as it doesn't get freeze. Okay? Any more questions? That sounds like y'all done. Oh man. Wait. Great. Thank you.